I can tell you what female audiences don't want. They don't want movies like the Marvels, which, by the way, came out on Disney Plus and is one of the least watched MCU movies on that platform. Nobody wanted to watch this, especially women. Uh, Women just not interested in movies like this. Uh, They're not interested in movies like Madam Web, which was also a complete disaster. That movie... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> that movie might have, I don't know. What's worse, Madam Web or, or the Marvels? You let me know in the comments if you've seen them both. I don't know which one is worth, I, worse. I want to say Madam Web. Actually, no. Uh, the Marvels is worse. What makes Madam Web better than the Marvels is it's shorter. I think, I think that's fair. It also has, I, I would say it has better looking women, but... Uh, they they do their best to make them unattractive especially Cindy Sweeney uh one of the one of the most beautiful women in Hollywood and they're literally scratching their head during that movie trying to figure out how to make her look ugly it's it didn't really work but they would have been better if they had just you know made her not look so frumpy but what are you going to do Now, the reason I'm bringing this up is because you think Hollywood would learn, right? Barbie. No matter how you feel about this movie, it made money. What were the women in this movie? They're all dressed feminine, pink, all over the place, girly girl stuff. Made $1.4 billion. Massive hit. You think Hollywood would sit down and say, hmm, maybe we're, we're going about this all wrong. And then you have this. It's very women empowered. Red Sonia star says reboot will subvert the original's male gaze trope. So, you know, I'm not the biggest Conan Red Sonia guy, but I can tell you this. uh, She's usually pretty sexy. She's supposed to be uh, seductive and stuff like that. And all of that's getting stripped away now. And I can tell you right now, looking into my crystal ball, I can see that this movie will flop badly. Uh, This is going to be a gigantic flop. Women don't turn out for this shit. They're making a movie that would traditionally bring in tons of dudes and trying to turn them off and turn women onto this, and it's just not going to work. Uh, this will be the 35th million time that they've done this. And every single time they try to take these kinds of things and turn them into uh, women's properties, they fail. Uh, women also want her to be sexy. Uh, that is something that they also like. And you would think that these studios would get that by now, but they don't. Uh, They want to make the women as unattractive as possible. And this, and especially over in video games, but it's a little easier to do in video games. So it's just wild to me. Listen to some of these quotes. This movie is going to be a complete disaster, and I'm here for it. I'm I'm all about watching Hollywood studios lose massive, massive amounts of money because it's funny just to see these kinds of things come out. Like, this is what she's supposed to look like right here, right? She's supposed to be sexy. And when you take out that aspect of the character, you change it. Like, this is a part of her character. And you're changing it to own the patriarchy? Okay, you're owning yourself because your box office is going to be shit. I I swear they recently came out and said that, you know, she's going to be hot, and now they've walked it back. So this movie is going to be something. Listen to this. Uh, The upcoming Red Sonja film, led by star Matilda Lutz, is taking a departure from the Conan character's traditional portrayal, opting to shed the male-gazed orientation, which is in quotes, of previous iterations in favor of a narrative of feminism. The shift raises concerns about the authenticity of the adaptation, its departure from the historical essence of Red Sonja as yet another franchise 
moves in a woke direction at the expense of fans. Matilda Lutz was reported on CBR as saying, so what I can tell about Red Sonia is that the first ones in the comics were made with a very male gaze orientation. This is a completely different story, and it's very woman-empowered, which I loved about the script, which is causing fans across the Internet to groan, as they should, because how many times have we heard this? Can you ever think of someone that said that before something came out and it turned out to be good? No. Usually it turns out to be absolute shit. And, you know, they deserve it. They deserve a failure. So they go on to say, traditionally, Red Sonia has been depicted as a fierce and seductive warrior adorned in scantily clad bikini armor, embodying, embodying the epitome of fantasy and adventure. However, Matilda Lutz's assertion that the film will subvert the original's male gaze trope suggests a significant departure from this established image. I can't wait for them to start calling us all sexist because we wanted this version of the character. This is a Jim Lee cover, and it looks great, actually. And just wait, because you know it's coming. It is going to be hilarious when this drops and fails, and they're like, why didn't men go see this new empowered Sonya who wears so much armor she looks like she's going to go jousting, even though she's never dressed like that. It's always like this. This is the name of the issue, Red Sonya, She-Devil with a Sword. A great cover by Jim Lee there. He's so wasted sitting in D.C. offices when he should be drawing everything. So, you know, you're you're making the decision to prioritize a feminist perspective in the film's narrative. It's got fans saying, what the fuck? Because she's always been unapologetic to her embrace of sexuality and her prowess as a warrior, and they're just throwing all the way. Instead, we're going to get a feminist, anti-male gaze movie that nobody wants. Women want to see her like this, too. Women also like to look at pretty people uh, with nice bodies. Everybody likes doing that. And they're taking all that out to subvert shit. And anytime I hear the word subvert or modern audiences, the first thing that comes to my mind every time is that this is going to be shit. So congratulations. You've killed your movie. I don't even know when this is coming out. I'm going to imagine within the next two years. Uh, but congratulations on absolutely killing this movie and making everyone that was interested in it, in it lose, lose interest. Congrats. It's very easy to do nowadays, and you nailed it. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about all this in the comments below. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell, and I will see you on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free. But if you are a supporter over here, I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube. They'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals.